Hey everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Jan Soudedown. I'm the founder of LearnSolidWorks.com. And today in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a volume in a glass in SolidWorks and how to measure the volume. So the first thing we're going to do for this is we're going to download this SolidWorks model. And you can download this model by clicking on the link under this video. So do that first, and then we're going to open this part. All right, guys, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, copy the inner surface of this class. So we're going to copy this surface. So therefore, we're going to insert surface and click on offset. The offset distance will be zero millimeters. And we click on the inner surface right here. Now we click OK. And now we've just copied the inner surface of our glass. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to define the height of our liquid in the glass. So we're going to um, make a solid body of this um, volume in the middle. So therefore we're going to click on the right plane and we'll make a new sketch by clicking on the 2D sketch icon. Just like that. And now we're going to define the height of our liquid in the glass. So therefore we're going to draw a horizontal line. So click on the line icon. We're going to draw a line from here, roughly to here. It will be a horizontal line. Click escape to end the line command. Just like that. Now we're going to define the height of our liquid. So click on smart dimensions. Click on this line. And now we're going to select this region right here. And we change the height of our liquid into 47 millimeters. That looks good. Click OK. Now we're going to drag the end point of our line to the edge of the glass. We also do that with this end point, just like that. All right, now we're going to close this. And we're going to use the trim feature to trim the upper part of our inner volume away. So go to Insert, Surface, Trim. And our horizontal line will be the Trim tool. So it's already pre-selected, but if it's not selected, you can go to the Feature tree, and select our line. And now we're going to click on Keep Selections and we want to keep this orange surface. So click on this part to keep and click OK. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make this liquid solid. So we hide this glass model, click on the glass model and click on the uh, eye icon to hide it. Now I'm going to use a surface fill to make this an enclosed volume. So go to insert, surface, fill, and we select this upper edge just like that and we're going to make sure it's fixed a boundary merge results and create a solid click ok all right so this is our solid model of our volume and this is the model of our glass we're going to change the color of the liquid a bit to get a better visibility so click on the solid body of the volume we get, click here on the drop down menu of the appearance, click on body. Now we're going to change the color of our body into purple, for example. Click OK. All right, so we can rename those solid bodies. So the first body will be our glass body. So rename it to glass. And the second body will be our, our liquid. So change the name into a liquid. All right, guys, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, measure the mass and volume of our liquid. So therefore, we first need to make sure that we apply a realistic material to our liquid. So we go to the feature tree and click on the liquid body again. Right click on material and select edit material. Now we're going to other non-metals and we select water, for example and click apply to apply the water material to our liquid. Now we can close this box. And if we select the liquid again, we can now go to evaluate 
and select mass properties. And now we can find out that the mass of our liquid is around 50 grams and the volume is around 50,000 cubic millimeters, so 0 0.05 liters. All right, guys, that's all for now. Thanks for watching this video. Now, if you want to become a SolidWorks Pro by modeling this Austin Modern 177, this American Chopper, this Sunseeker Predator Super Yacht, and this Boeing 747-8, I highly recommend to attend my free SolidWorks workshop. And you can find a link with more information about the workshop under this video. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video and visit LearnSolidWorks.com for many more SolidWorks product modeling videos. Alright guys, I'm going to sign off now, but I hope to talk to you soon. Bye bye.